is the Jenny McCarthy Show. Welcome back to the show. I'm Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg. You know, the first time, Donnie, that she came in my studio, yep. I was very excited because, like, of course, I love the Housewives of Beverly Hills. Yep. And Teddy Mellencamp was a new chick on the block. I know. I resisted her on the Housewives. And I then we wound her. up falling in love we with her. We fell in love. We fell in love with her. I got to interview uh, her, and I'm like, she's down to earth. She's cool. Yeah, she's, she's normal. Real. She's one of us. And now she's, she's real. back again, you guys. And the, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is back Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock on Bravo. Hey there, Teddy. How are you? Hi, how's it going, guys? Well, we're drinking heavily. Yeah. Yep. Cheers on for a Tuesday. It's is the it no reason. It's the no excuses drinking game. You just drink, cuss. I think you're probably That's breastfeeding. Perfect. At this time, we need it. <laughs> yep. Um, Donnie, how are you? Tried to resist me at first. What? Ah, uh, okay. It's just a thing. It's just a thing with the. Sh I don't like turnover Everybody. in the show. He doesn't like turnover. So when there's a new person, he's like, oh, they better prove themselves to me. Right. So, so how long? Ha it <laughs> not long, not long, because you know what? I was like, "Wait, who's that?" And Jenny was like, "That's Teddy." And I was like, "Who's she friends with?" And she was like, "Well, she's friends with her." And da, da, da. and I was like, "All right." And I was like, Ugh. "And then I realized you suddenly became this really grounding figure in the show of you know an authentic figure. I mean, ground like you ground it like in authenticity and earthiness. So you just she was the real, real part. Of real yeah, Housewives. yeah. And I just was like. Uh, see, I just that's that's always gonna win for me. You know what I mean? So you just okay. you won. You won. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm happy yeah. to be here. Ginny, I feel like I see you so much because my kids are obsessed with the mass singer. Oh my god. Like I'm obsessed obsessed. With the mass singer. <laughs> it's a fun show. <laughs> Would you be on it ever? For sure, but I'm a terrible singer. You'd know right away. Oh, You'd be like come on. my hands doing this move. You'd be like, oh, that's right, right. Stop. <laughs> stop yelling at everyone. Don't throw the drink. <laughs> so funny because we do pick up our mannerisms and that's how we get to like I saw Sherry Shepard's walk and I'm like, that's Sherry Shepard. So I'll know oh, if you do you this. Have to bring up the walk. <laughs> <laughs> Too fucking funny. First of all, you were pregnant during the filming of this. I can't even imagine because I was I wrote a pregnancy book and wrote one chapter called Psycho Bitch. And I just remember being going from zero to ten in a tenth of a second. I was breaking things, throwing things at people's heads. How did you compose yourself or did you? Because we're about to find out. I mean, in my sometimes I didn't like there was one night where like Edwin was like, you need to relax. And I remember like kicking him under the table and being like, honestly, Right. I, you better not. I hope you don't say another word because the worst thing a husband can do is get involved in any of it. Right. Or just not have your back, even if you're wrong. You have your back no matter what. And who relaxes by being told to relax? <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. No, no one. That's a tough one. But see, see what I mean about about Teddy is anyone else would have used that as an excuse to like throw a drink in their husband's face and she just kicked him under the table. She keeps it real. I kept it on the DL. Like I That's like, right. you know, pinched his thumb as hard as I could. Like you. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like the show adds a little bit more pressure to your marriage? It's got to be, have some s strain. Well, it, you know, like sometimes in a marriage, you like are zoning out a little bit because you're just like, you know, we know each other. We don't really, you're just kind of going through the motions it really forces you to be present all of the time. Because like, think about it, they're filming a date. There's a lot you don't see. So like we're going on dates and it's not like I can be like looking at my phone, like, hold on, I got this work thing real quick. Like you are present. And like, so we really like our communication actually got a lot better <laughs> during the show. That makes a lot of sense actually. Cause you have to be present with one another. And, and do also, they have cameras there? Oh, go ahead, sorry. Do they have cameras there the whole time filming or is it just like selected hours? It's selected hours, but like if if we're going to lunch, then it's the entire lunch. It's driving to lunch, it's lunch, it's leaving lunch. And also they can tell if like you're faking it. Like, oh, yeah. so you have to really like be on the same page or it's not gonna go well. Like it's just gonna right. be a hot mess. And when you say they, are you referring to the audience can tell? Or the yeah, the audience can tell or and you can it's a different level like you know when you first meet somebody and you're like not having the most like organic conversation <laughs> yes you, and you feel it and then you start panicking like i yes. when we first started filming the show we were both so nervous um that it like 
we wouldn't be focused on each other. And I'm like, hold on, we need to like come, like have a come to Jesus moment and like have real conversations that we have or else this is going to be a disaster for us. See, Donnie, I told you she's cool as fuck. I know. I'm I'm on board. <laughs> he always, he God, has been this on board. was three years ago this conversation came up. <laughs> I do want to talk about the show because <clears throat> LVP is not going to be there now. And does it feel like a relief? Or were there moments this past season where you were like, God, I wish LVP was here to take some of this heat? Well, I think what I have noticed is I've seen a different side to everybody since you know this year because i think a lot of people's guards were up and i don't know if that's the reason or not but like i've seen a much like softer side to a lot of you know a lot of the women and i feel like we're not having as surface as relationships like we're having deeper friendships which of course causes more drama because now you have bigger opinions because we're all judgy assholes half the time Apparently, apparently you are, you're referring to with Dorit, um, recently saying, even in an interview, I think that you were judgy or something. Do you consider yourself judgy? I mean, I consider myself to have a big opinion, which yeah, but I'm going to be judgy to your face. If I think something I'm real, yeah, I'm real. So I'm a little bit of a know-it-all and pretty judgy, but I'm not going to, you know, pretend I'm not. Is there someone that we can look forward to you, um, getting real with this season? Uh, I think, you know. Uh, at at the end with 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 Denise, it, we we have some. What you've seen play out on the press is really not a you it's know not. She didn't go no. down on Brandy. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, let me put it this way: way before Brandy went down on Denise, allegedly there was way more stuff going on. Got it. Okay, because Denise in the. With that. In the trailer, Denise uh-huh. looks like she will cut a bitch in this trailer. Like something happens where if she's triggered, I don't know if they use certain, but she has someone sign NDAs or sent a cease and assist. That's what she did. And it's like, come on, you know what we're, you know what you signed up for. It's the good, the bad, and the ugly of our lives. And like, that's, that's what it is. And, you know, I, I think whenever you try to control what you want the audience to see, it never goes well. Never. And we can feel it. If you're trying to always be like, I have to own the, I'm using a rent a quote. I have to own the fact that like, I can be a little bit of a know-it-all and a loud mouth and you know, whatever it may be. But you know, I have to know that I have a good side as well, (laughs) but you know, people either like you or they're not, but not everybody's going to like you. You have to be okay with that. The camera does not lie. No matter what we try to do, we've done our show and I've done the show at my brother's on Wahlburgers. The camera will sniff you out. When, no matter what you try to do, it, it's the, the what the audience is going to think of you is going to come out. No, there's nothing you can do about it. And the more you try to hide it, the more you actually feed the thing you're concerned about totally. the audience thinking about you, right? Oh, for sure. Because you're more aware. Yep. <laughs> it's so true. It's like in the front of your minds. So you're like manifesting it before your very eyes. I want to ask you, where does the tension between you and Lisa come from? Oh, you know, I think there's a lot that I don't know how much they've shown in the trailer or, you know, what, but there's a lot of situation between Kyle and I being very close. Mm. And I actually think it's almost like laughable because I'm like, what is so crazy to everybody? Oh, that we have a true, authentic, real friendship. I can, I can see Mm. how that's so disturbing to everybody. Why is it, why is it disturbing? Why do you think it bothers people? Why does it bother them? I don't know. I mean, I think, but the thing with me is like when people say it, I have to laugh because I'm like, it doesn't bother me that it offends you that we have a close friendship because I'm not trying to fake anything here. It actually is a very good friendship. And our families are close and our kids are close and our husbands are close. It's it's not just one thing. I think oftentimes in Beverly Hills, you have a friend like, this is my shopping friend, or this is my friend I go to soul cycle with, or this (laughs) is totally (laughs) that I met in my mommy and me class. But like, she's my all around friend that I like to do all, you know, that we like to do all the same, you know. You guys yeah. are a good match. You guys are, you know, vibe together great. So I, I do get why the other, though, I put myself on as a cast member. And what would bother me if I'm putting myself in their shoes is I feel threatened because Kyle is such a alpha powerhouse on the show. She's now like takes, took the lead from Lisa Vanderpump, so to speak, even though there's no leads. But she seems like, you know, 
she, in our imagination as viewers, that she has more pull in which direction the show goes, even though that's not true. That is in our imagination. So we're going, okay. And I say we, as in, you know, a collective going, okay, she's going to side up with Kyle because, you know, that's a sure thing. She's going to stay safe. If she gets friendships with Kyle, she's going to stay safe. But she really thinks about this shit. I mean, she really goes. No, you know there. what it is? I don't think about it. I, I listen to the collective and then I transmute it to the, the person. She calls it the real chess game of Beverly Hills. That's, that's that gets all so deep for It's like her. Game of Thrones. You know, and for me, it was really just because of my first year, I was like so not comfortable you know, coming into the group. I remember being in Vegas when I was like in my ice skating outfit and I was like, what is happening here? Like I am disaster zone. <laughs> um, and Kyle made me laugh and really like, that's all it takes for me. Like, I'm like, you made me laugh. You helped me let my guard down. And like, that's really, to me, that's important in friendship it and is. all the and other stuff. Like it's gonna, you know, we're all going to have drama at some point with each other. And I just have to be like, okay, you know what? It, it, Cause you have to relive it. It's a total mind fuck because even though somebody may be in an argument, then you have to watch the confessionals. I you, know. may, you, you think you've moved mm. through it and then you hear something else that somebody said about you and Evil. you're like, rude. And that's why they plant those plan, those uh, reunions after you guys have watched all those confessionals and then you go at it. Yeah, because you think you've cleared things up and then you know, like, oh, no, well, this is what she's saying behind my back, which is worse than the fights in person. Totally. It's like picking mm -hmm. the scab. You thought it healed and you're just picking the scab, picking mm -hmm. the scab. See, Lisa Renna, like I say, I would say in real life, you know. I love Okay, I, I, I'd like, Lisa. no, no, no. Yeah. I, I say, okay, I, w I, could, I could see her being a cool gal in real life. But not on the show. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here for that right now. No, because she backstabs. She backstabs everyone on her interviews. Do you think everyone's playing the game though? There is a sense of, of course, reality. You want to be as authentic as possible, but there is a game to be played. I mean, the way I kind of look at it is. <laughs> In your real life, think about you say something to Donnie, you probably wouldn't want to have to say it out loud, some of the things that you would actually say to Donnie. But right. we are, that's our job. Our job is to say our inner feelings. So yeah, sometimes it's uncomfortable, but like if sometimes you got to be shady because that's how us as humans think from time to time. That was the best explanation I got real. from a housewife yet. And I've she asked it multiple it real. times. That it was an excellent way of breaking it down. It was almost a spiritual way of breaking it down. I was saying, listen, this is our job. It's called entertainment, and we know what we have to do. And people S hashtag that spiritual shade. <laughs> yeah, like you're not making up stuff. You're just yeah. no. those inner. Like I say, like I walk into a room and you have that original thought, good or bad, and but then you have to share what it is. Yep, I get it. Uh, see, I would have giant cold sores all over my face doing the show. I obliterated uh, Mark and Paul, my brothers, on Wahlburgers. I obliterated them. So I, I get it. I get that part of it. And I love them. And I support them. But you them have to say everything out loud. I just, I got to that point. That exactly what Teddy's talking about. Just not holding back. And you got to tell the truth. And you just, the camera's on and let's go. You know, maybe it would help me spiritually also grow. Because it forces you to use your voice. You know, we're both like kind of codependent. So that took a while for us to develop our voices of what we want. Do you feel like you've grown in any areas because of the show? You said you it helped with communication with your husband outside of that. You know, I think I'm just a lot more aware of certain traits that I have, like my need to control everything. <laughs> like I think before I thought like this is how everybody is and then I realized nope no, it actually isn't this is something that you are you have an issue like you are a control freak and I realized like sometimes I have to just take a breath and you know let things go and you know kind of do that and I realized like after watching I can't remember what season it was I was like god I need to quit nagging my husband <laughs> like I can go <laughs> nag like what the hell that would be hard if you don't have control over an edit and you're a control freak. That would be the fucking hardest thing. Yeah. So you just have to be like, oh, my God. OK, you have to let it. And it's really helped me in my other, you know, the rest of my life, because I realize like there's such a huge part on display that I can't control that I have to kind of let everything else surrender. Yeah. 
Do you still have your accountability uh, coach business? Yeah, it's, I'm, I mean, I'm so grateful for it right now. I have like over 45 people that work with me and we've had over 10,000 lives changed. And now more than ever, you know, we're, we're completely full because there's so many people that want that support in the community right wow. now, you know, to feel that's amazing. Yeah, so Can that's I tell you how many times you come into my thoughts because I'm doing something I shouldn't do, or I haven't done something I'm supposed to do yet. And I go, I need that goddamn accountability. I need <laughs> accountability. It have it's all the time. And then I go, okay, pretend you have it. What would you do? I would tell them to fuck off because that, it, it's not right. But I'm like, I have that personality of, I want the help. I want some accountability coach to be like, okay, 3 PM. But Donnie knows if he says, okay, we said 3 PM workout. I'll be like, no, Ugh. It's a but, weird dynamic. But the difference is, is if you have skin in the game. So you have to understand once people sign up with me, they're paying. And then if they don't follow through, they lose their, you know, they're out. That, that makes more sense. Yeah. See, I, I'm, I'm, I'm discovering here. It's not a control issue, Teddy. This is, this is accountability. You are on the show <laughs> teaching people who aren't accountable to each other, oh. backstabbing and not following through on things, accountability. It's not control. Oh, no, I'm not, I, I, Team I Teddy. When it comes to bad behavior and backstabbing, I'm not an accountability coach. <laughs> when it They've comes tried to, to do that. Health and They've fitness, tried. yes. All right. I, um, I, I can't be a housewife and, you know. No, you yeah. can't. It's the dynamics too weird. A couple more questions about the show. Denise's husband and Erica Jane's, like there's an argument that happens where Erica Jane's like, fuck off. That's my subtext of what I got from it. How bad does it blow up? Uh, it's bad. Is it? Okay, good. So something and there's, there's, and there's, so, there's so much more. There's so much more than what you've seen and more things involved. And like, it's, it's probably the most uncomfortable I've ever felt on the show. But is it like, where were they uh, in, was it China or Japan? Where were they when Erica got upset? Was it that bad? Did you guys go to Japan? No, a couple uh, years I, ago when Erica got mad. Erica, I don't even Erica, know. Erica handled herself great in the moment. Good. I mean, I, I wouldn't have been able to, like, I there I was in that moment where I just, like, kind of got like this, like, hunched over, like, <gasps> it was, yeah, it was a shocking moment for me. Like a scared child. That's well, what I feel Erica, like. Erica going. grew. Erica evolved. Remember when she went demon? Where <laughs> I love she it. Went full demon. I want more. So demons. she's grown. She's grown. No, we need growth. We need growth. This is what Teddy's bringing the light to the housewives. Well, let me ask you this, Teddy, because um, some of the feedback for this last, this past season of Housewives, and I know you guys have upped the game, but they said, you know, this storylines felt a little bit flat. That that you guys were kind of reaching for storylines, and there just wasn't that much good tension the dog storyline felt like it was redundant did you in hindsight looking back do you agree with a lot of the people that said that and in so saying that does this season just do the opposite i think last year it was so hard it, it's so hard to tell a story when not everybody shows up and so i think it mm. just we were stuck we couldn't move on because like there was just a piece of the puzzle that we couldn't finish um, and, and that's the problem. And, you know, this year it's completely different and it's so many different issues. It's not just one, like, yes, what you're seeing at the end is what people have wanted you to see on press. Cause they've gone to the press, they've talked, they want you to have their opinions prior to watching the show, which I hate. Like, I want you to watch the show and be fresh and make your own opinion, be judgy, whatever you want to do. But, um, there's so many layers to this story that aren't just what what you're hearing in the end boy you're really selling it teddy you're yeah. selling it I'm like, well it was, i was really present this year because i couldn't drink oh, i was so right. you know like you're sober housewife you are paying attention holy shit i forgot about that god you deserve a crown for that that's an oxymoron though it's a so sober housewife is an oxymoron <laughs> it actually is an oxymoron <laughs> I'm um, kidding. I'm kidding. Um, anybody else? There's a new person. What's her name? Oh, yeah. There's two. Garcelle. And Sutton. and Sutton. How are they? So Garcelle is really fun. She's a big personality. Mm -hmm. Like, 
comes in like she lights up the room when she comes in i feel like her confessionals are going to be shady though like i have a feeling like for, <laughs> for, sure. like, for sure feel like that um sutton came in hot like comes in hot like it's unbelievable like complete polar opposite to how i entered like i was like whoa and i don't know how much you've seen or not seen thus far but it, it's pretty crazy at the, from the get-go do you think she did homework before she started? Meaning like, watch Oh, for sure. I think she went on Twitter and was like, what are the Twitter twirls saying about Teddy? And I'm, I'm eating it up. Nah, 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 nah. And I'm going to use it against her. I, like, I mean, honestly, if you're going to, if someone isn't as smart as you, that's the tactic that they'll use. So <laughs> there you go. Now Sutton, can't wait for her to come on the show. <laughs> come to yeah, me for that. I'm watching. I had Lisa Vanderpump come after me on this show. I was in my radio studio at in Sirius at New York, and the door flings open. She was supposed to be a guest, but she literally was like, I've got a bone to pick with you. And I'm like, save it for the air. <laughs> but she, I was on um, Andy's show with Brandy. And I, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty judgy myself and was going off on how Lisa Vanderpump is a, a, a puppet master and da, 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 and feeding Brandy some more lines. Mm. I'm like, she's using you. Not realizing Lisa Vanderpump's booked on my show the following <laughs> week. <laughs> oh, I well, just walk again. No, I'm like, well, that's what happens. That's right. And, and of course she came back after that. So there you go. And I'm hoping you come back too. Teddy, I love you. I'm so glad you got to meet my husband. Yeah, who's now going to awesome. be your? He's going to you're going to be the number one. Housewife. Team Teddy, Team Teddy, Real uh, Housewives Beverly Hills. Wednesday nights at nine o'clock on Bravo. All in by Teddy is also her other business and her podcast, Teddy T Pod. Love the name of that. Thanks, girlfriend. Good luck to you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Come, Bye, come back. Teddy. You better come back, Teddy. When all the juice. Of happens, course, it's back. so much fun. So, Spill that tea. I, I've learned two things during this interview. Yes. That one, Teddy is awesome yes. as uh, expected, and two, being a housewife is like being in a boy band. <laughs> Lots of drama. Same shit. (laughs) We'll be right back.